Easter. I'm gonna try kind of an eggs benedict-ish poached eggs and I thought maybe y'all would like to get some ideas from what I'm gonna share with my family for Easter. So I'm gonna show you my Easter brunch right now. Our friends that are coming over, they don't eat pork. Um, my friend, the mom, is vegan. The dad is meat lover and the kids are kind of both, just like our family. So I love this brunch because it's gonna be able to serve everybody with kind of like the same stuff. I love serving rosemary potatoes because they're beautiful and they taste really good and they're easy and they go really well on a brunch plate. So I like to use the red kind of small potatoes and these are pre-washed, so bonus. That's an extra step that I don't have to do. They're cut nice and small, I don't know, about like this. And they'll cook down a little bit when they're roasting, but they get the good flavor. This is totally one of my go-to sides for brunches. I don't even worry about having these like in a single layer. I just like to put them in a casserole dish like this. And the trick with that is we're just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stir them a couple of times to make sure that they evenly cook. I'm preheating the oven to 400. The smaller that they're chopped, with the oven being at 400, will help these cook along a lot faster. I used to make these with like butter and olive oil, but we've cut way back on dairy and all that. So I'm actually just gonna use the olive oil. And I know my oven's at 400. I'm still gonna use my extra virgin olive oil. Why? Because it tastes so good, y'all. It just tastes really good. And no, it's not a high heat oil, but it tastes so good. So it's going in. <laughs> I am using also an Italian seasoned blend because my rosemary was killed during the snowmageddon Texas just went through a few weeks ago. We lost our rosemary, big, beautiful rosemary plant. <laughs> it's gone. I have done this in a pinch when I was too lazy to go out and get fresh rosemary from outside. I know that's kind of like ridiculous, but hey, it happens. And I have this on hand. I've just used this and it's really good. Gotta taste the seasonings. Otherwise it's just gonna taste like plain old potatoes. Okay, now a little bit of salt. These are going in the oven, preheated at 400 degrees. I'm gonna put these in for 20 minutes and then give them a stir and see how they're going, doing. To add some good color to this brunch, I like to use some asparagus, nice and green, good color nutrients. And this, I'm just gonna roast with some spices. That's gonna give it kind of like a cheesy, lemony flavor. It's really good, but without cheese. So this is a vegan side dish and it's, yeah, it's really good. So I like to take the asparagus, I've already rinsed this off. And the ends, they've already been kind of snapped at the ends, but they get kind of, I don't know, sealed off. The little wounds are sealed off. So I like to just kind of chop those again and kind of freshen them up. There, okay. Then take these guys and get them lined up in a casserole or a little baking dish. And these are huge. These are like, these are huge. Okay, here's the fun part. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just drizzle that on and then Spice combination that I really like to use on a lot of things is a little bit of garlic powder. If I were to guesstimate, I would say this is about a quarter teaspoon to each of these spices that I'm gonna use. A little bit of paprika, maybe not a quarter teaspoon of the paprika, it's probably half that. Onion powder, don't hold me to the quarter teaspoon thing. I just do like a thin layer across the asparagus. Let's stir these around so they can get coated. Alternatively, I could have done the oil and the spices in a bowl and then just poured it over. I am trying to save dishes here. Does anybody else ever do that? A little layer of some, I'm using panko breadcrumbs because that's what I have on hand, but I've also used the finer breadcrumbs as well. This is just a fun recipe to throw these flavors in. It's really good. A little breadcrumb action. And these will also go at 400, just like the rosemary potatoes, only they're gonna go for about 10 minutes. So right when the rosemary potatoes are about to be done, I'll pop these in and they'll do their little roasting a lot faster. And squeeze some lemon right on our asparagus and the breadcrumbs are gonna soak that up. I really like the lemon in this. Almost forgot what gives this asparagus a cheese flavor without the actual cheese is nutritional yeast. It's not a baking yeast and like, it's not gonna make anything rise. It's just a B vitamin load and it tastes very much like cheese. 
So I like to keep this on hand. You can skip this all together, but this is really good on this asparagus. So give that a little mix. Uh, now, now they're ready. One of my favorite breakfast items to serve, Easter brunch aside, is a smashed avocado toast. It's so good and it just needs to be done a certain way though. There's a couple little things that you need to just make this like a flavor explosion. Take the avocado, let's see, get that out. Scoop out, just basically smash an avocado. <laughs> it's not just avocado, just watch. <laughs> this is so simple y'all, but it is so, so good. Okay, here's where it gets fun. To our avocado, we're gonna put a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon, fresh squeezed lemon. The lemon is really necessary to change the flavor of this avocado from just plain avocado to something almost gourmet. I can't tell y'all how good this is. This, just like this, is a great way to start your day, but we're not done. Top that with a little bit of tomato. Ah, look how pretty. Isn't that nice? For this Eggs Benedict-ish recipe that I'm serving, I'm gonna start getting the sauce ready because the eggs are gonna go really fast. And for the sauce, I kinda make a roux with equal parts olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. One, two, three tablespoons of that. Three tablespoons of flour and then I just have to whisk it kinda quick so it doesn't burn. And I'm on my little portable burner over here and the, it's a little harder to control the heat levels, so, but we'll make it work. So just whisk, I'm gonna whisk this for just a minute or so. Whenever I make a roux, I just always start with equal parts flour and oil, and it's usually about three tablespoons each or four tablespoons each, just depending on how much sauce I need. I'm gonna add some plant-based milk. This is an oat milk, this is an organic oat milk. I've used almond milk for this too, and I think even soy milk would be good with this, just, or cow's milk, but I'm gonna start with one cup, and it's better if the milk is not cold cold because it will lump up. But I have used cold cold milk, and I just drizzle it in really slow. Now this is just one cup I'm starting with, and I'm just gonna whisk this until it thickens up, and then I'll add some more. And I'll probably end up with either a cup and a half or two cups of plant-based milk by the time I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna add another, this is getting pretty thick, about, that's probably about a half a cup. So while that is thickening up, this is where some fun nutritional yeast comes in. And this is that cheese flavor that we're going for. And it's gonna be about three to four tablespoons of this. It's probably about four tablespoons. Three to four tablespoons, and you can, I can, you know, I just adjust as needed. I might taste it and say, do I need more? And then if it's like, it's too much, then I'll just add some more milk. And if it's not enough, I'll add more of the nutritional yeast. But we're not done. This sauce is so good that it's gonna go delicious over the eggs for my friends that are having the eggs. It's gonna be great. Good squeeze of lemon. At least a tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice is what I'm going for here. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Yeah, nice and light, not too rich, and it's healthy. It's far healthier than a traditional hollandaise sauce, which is loaded with lots of egg yolk and lots of butter. This is, these are healthy ingredients. They're clean, they're organic, and they're not gonna leave me or my guests or family feeling guilty or like heavy. So I'm really excited about this sauce. Thank you. Before I call these done, I like to make sure that they are fork tender. Yes, they are. These are ready. And because they were chopped small and I mixed them halfway through, 20 minutes, uh, they cooked nice and quickly and they are, look at that, these are so good. Yay. Okay, these are ready. Okay, I have everything ready. The rosemary potatoes, the asparagus, I got the other stuff ready to go. And the last thing, oh, the sauce, that's the other stuff. The last thing is getting the eggs in and serving them nice and fresh. So I'm gonna do two at once. Okay, there's this whole thing about making like a vortex in the water before you put the egg in. I am not that coordinated. So for me, it's easier just to get the egg in and then gently swirl it around to keep the white from fanning out. So I'm gonna try that. I can maybe give it a little swirl. Okay, there's one. 
And then I'm immediately going to swirl around that egg so that white, I'm gonna lose some of the white and that's okay. I'm just gonna keep the egg together as much as I can, gently. So there's that one and then I'm gonna get this one in. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, three minutes. I wanna go about three minutes on this to achieve a cooked white but a very soft yolk. Actually, I like the yolk runny but I want the white really, really cooked. So three, three and a half minutes. I'm swirling, but I'm not hitting my egg because that'll break the yolk. I'm just swirling around my egg. So the egg kind of keeps going in a circular motion and that white will keep folding over it. I'm about to show y'all this Easter brunch plate ready to go. Now, will this win any prize of beauty? You know, it might. <laughs> and don't forget the sauce. We have this delicious sauce. I'm just gonna give it a stir, which if it gets too thick, you can just thin it out with a little bit of plant milk and warm it back up. But this is still pretty perfect. And before I put the sauce on, a little fruit salad. Got some fruits, bananas, strawberries, apples, and the rosemary potatoes, the asparagus, and then the smashed avocado toast over here. And this sauce is gonna go great over both. I'm so excited for Easter to be able to have people over, socially distanced. We're gonna be very careful. And there's lemon in the sauce and on the asparagus. Easter brunch, and I'm set for my half vegan, half conventional eaters and ready to go. And I hope this inspires you to do something fun for your brunch as well. Thank you so much for watching. Buon appetito. Ciao.